Hi, I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. Let's take a look inside the USCCA gun vault. Welcome to the premier edition of USCCA Gun Vault. You ask for some gun tests, we'll provide you some gun tests. What we're going to do in the next coming weeks is take a look at all the guns we have coming in and out of our gun vault at the USCCA media team offices. And we're going to start with the Smith & Wesson Model 37 j frame Revolver. Just to prove to everybody that I don't hate revolvers, this is my own personal firearm. I paid good money for this gun, and I really do like it. The Smith & Wesson Model 37 revolver was in continuous production from 1950 to 2006. It weighs about 19 ounces when it's empty and has a 2 inch barrel, actually 1.811, but let's not quibble about that 2 tenths of an inch. It holds 5 rounds of 38 Special and is designed with an aluminum frame. Now the original Model 37 was a quote unquote upgrade from the Model 36 and they tried to make it with an aluminum cylinder. That didn't work out so well. The aluminum cylinders kept breaking. The ounces that they saved by making an aluminum cylinder was given up with no durability at all. So very quickly they went back to a steel cylinder and that's what I've got here with this gun. Aluminum frame, five shot steel cylinder, round butt J frame. It's the smallest frame that Smith & Wesson makes and it has been the quintessential concealed carry gun for decades. Think about this. All the detectives, off-duty police officers, and concealed carriers were running the two-inch barreled snub nose revolver. One, because it was small, light, and easy to carry. Two, very good combat accuracy inside of 10 yards. And three, it was always there for them. Five rounds. You know the old saying about a revolver, six for sure. Well, with the J-frame, it's five for sure. It always worked. What I don't like about the J-frame revolver is it's just five rounds. Nowadays, you can get 12 or 15 rounds in a gun basically the same size for your concealed carry purposes. That weighs more, and it's a little bit more difficult to carry, but the revolver still works. It's still a very effective defensive tool. Another thing I don't like about this particular gun, even though I bought it, even though I paid my good hard-earned money for this gun, is the trigger guard slams into my middle finger every time I fire the gun. And if you're out training a lot, and I like to train a lot, I don't want to get punished when I'm training. So it, it's just an ergonomics thing. It's not a performance thing. It's not a huge problem. The Smith & Wesson revolver operates just like any other revolver. Lever on the side, push the lever forward, pop open the cylinder, then you can check and make sure that it's empty and the gun is clear and safe. Fires in the single action or double action mode. Double action, just pull the trigger and it goes bang. Single action, if you wish to cock the hammer, then you have the real light, short trigger pull. That's basically all there is to these revolvers. Very short revolver ejector rod, drops the star out. Revolvers are very easy to use. The ultimate point and shoot interface. Just drop rounds into the cylinders, close the cylinder up, put it on target, and squeeze the trigger. Remember, trigger finger discipline and muzzle management will put these rounds on target. Now because the pistol only has five rounds, handy device is a speed loader. But these are kind of thick in your pocket. So compare this thickness to the thickness of a magazine for a slimline pistol. And you'll notice that it's going to be a little bit of a bulge if you carry a speed loader in your pocket or in a loader pouch on your belt. But it does give you the opportunity to reload quickly if you need to. Still. People will argue FBI statistics show that the average gunfight is three rounds over three seconds at about three yards. This gun is going to do everything that you need to in a gunfight. You just need to do your part, which is move, communicate, and shoot if you need to. So let's load this little gun up, put a few rounds down range, show you just basically how it works. I already know it's reliable. Let's take a look. We're loading up 158 grain lead round nose bullets. Just a standard target or practice load, but you know what? I wouldn't want to get shot with one of these either. Let's put them on target. Watch it go bang. Four out of five. I missed because it got going too quickly. Remember to shoot only as quickly as you can accurately get on target. And these A zone targets from Challenge Targets are great out here at the range. They work very nicely. They let you know immediately if you've hit or missed. And we know this gun is reliable. And that's one thing we'll talk about when we do the gun vault. Reliability is not negotiable. Accuracy is negotiable. You don't need a target pistol in a combat environment. 
What you need is a gun that goes bang every time. This little Smith & Wesson Model 37 will go bang every time. If you can find a J-frame out there at a gun show or on the resale market, I suggest you buy one. I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. This has been the USCCA Gun Vault. If you like these videos, share them with all your friends and please subscribe to this page. We'll give you more great information every week.